Welcome to Crafted Sweetly. This is Diana, and I will show you in this video how to make a sun catcher using a Cricut. Supplies that I will be using Yupo paper. Um, it's not really paper, it's more like a plastic. Um, it doesn't tear and it is waterproof. So um, everything for this sun catcher is actually, you can just have it, have it outside um, because everything is waterproof. Um, but yeah, the thing with the Yupo paper, it does not tear at all. You will also need acetate. And any thickness will do. Um, I have link below for all the supplies that I'm using. So I cut out a mandala on the, in Cricut Design Space. And you will need two identical pieces um, of the design in Yupo paper and then one acetate, which is just the outline. For this project, I will be using Ranger Ink alcohol inks. And to make it easier to paint, I'm just going to use little containers to put the ink in. You don't need a lot. It's just a few drops of each kind of color that you plan on using. And to glue the acetate to the Yupo paper, I'm using art glitter glue. I'm not using it straight out of the glue bottle. Um, I have a smaller bottle with a finer tip. And I'm just applying the glue to the Yupo paper so that I can attach the acetate to it. Attach the acetate to the Yupo paper and just make sure that everything is perfectly aligned. Press gently to make sure that all the various sections are stuck to the acetate. So we will be working on the side where the acetate is. That's where we will be painting. You can try and work against some black paper. Um, it's gonna make it slightly easier, um, but I did find an even easier way to apply this to make sure that you're not missing any areas. Um, you will need a brush that has a fine tip to it. So as you apply the paint, you may miss some of the areas. It's a little harder to see this way. So you may miss some of the spots as you are painting. And then when you hold it up to the sun, you will actually see the acetate that does not have any paint on it. If you are able to get a light pad, it does make the painting process a lot easier and this way you will not miss any spots. So with the light pad, it makes the project translucent. The light pad I have does have three different intensities of light. So I just want it on the brightest setting and then it makes it a lot easier to see where you're painting to make sure that you're not missing any spots. You do want to paint every section, um, but if you go outside of the lines, it's no problem because we will be attaching another Yupo paper to this side as well. So it will cover the outlines. You just want to make sure that you're staying pretty much in the area you want to paint, but if you're slightly going over the outlines, it's no problem, we will cover those up later. One trick with alcohol inks is that you really want to apply the ink in the first round. You don't want to go back and add more ink to the same area. What happens when you do that, it makes the ink spread. So then it's harder to cover that area with the same intensity. If you want more even color, you want to make sure that when you're applying the paint, you're just covering in the first round. 
if you are interested in how to apply this technique of a, creating a stained glass effect when making cards, I do have a link to the video at the end of this one. Once you have colored the entire mandala, you can turn off the light and as you can see, my painting is not perfect, but when you look at the other side, everything is completely fine. So we will attach the other design that has been cut to this side. Just make sure that everything aligns the same way, the design. And this design um, I did purchase, it's not in Cricut Design Space, you can use some of the designs in there, but I do have links below for everything that I used in these projects. We're going to use the art glitter glue again. Make sure everything is aligned and press well again all areas. And with the light pad on, you can see that this is what it would look like hanging in the window. Now to have it hang in the window, we do need to attach a little string to it. So I am using my crocodile to put a hole at the top of the flower so that I can hang this in the window. I did add a jump ring and the jump ring will make sure that it, the sun catcher stays flat against the window and it's not twisting. I wanted to show you one more design um, and this is a koala bear. I cut again the design as well as one outline in acetate. So I'm using Yupo paper for the two outlines and then the acetate is what I will be coloring in. And this design is in Cricut Design Space if you're using that. Now for this one I wanted the outline to be um, not white so I'm using a silver alcohol ink and I'm coloring the Yupo paper with it. Once you have colored the design with the silver then we need to attach the acetate to the back and as you notice slightly messy on the back but again we will not see this because we're gluing an identical piece on the back side. So I'm going to glue the acetate to the back of this and then start painting it. So same process as with the other one, everything is painted slightly messy on this side but we will be attaching the back side of it. So as you can see you can achieve some really cool designs with alcohol ink on acetate and create some beautiful sun catchers. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Look forward to seeing your projects and you're welcome to join us in our Crafted Sweetly Facebook group page. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.